underway. Jeff, anybody that stands out in your mind that they need to focus on against the Nuggets tonight? No one fits any better to a system than Kenneth Fareed fits with the fast-paced Denver Nuggets. Running rim to rim in transition, trying to block shots on the boards at both ends, multiple efforts defensively. This guy fits in perfectly. If he was in an organization that emphasized half-court execution, he doesn't have a lot of skills to go to in that area. They're improving yet, but that's not his game. His game is energy. And you know what? People say, well, what kind of skill is that? That's a very necessary skill in the NBA. And he hits the first free throw. It's like a broken record. Here we go talking about health again, but if Danilo Gallinari can stay healthy, We've seen how important he is to the teams that he's played on. And Mike, you also talk often about versatility. And the versatility of Gallinari, playing some of the three and some of the four, is critical. And when he plays at the four, he is a tough matchup because of his ability to shoot it and put it on the floor. This guy is a very good player who's only been hampered due to injury. The assist from Nelson against Rubio. And he curls in. Two minutes remaining. Minnesota's called for the foul. That's their second. And he'll head to the line with under two to go here in the first. Smart basketball preventing an easy score and putting a poor free throw shooter to the free throw line. In the last two minutes. Jeff Farid is one of those guys, it's your type of player. You just know what you're gonna get from him energy-wise every single game. He doesn't play big minutes, Mike. Averages in the 20s, but you're gonna get high motor minutes. He is going to run end to end. He is going to think every rebound should be his. He's gonna come and try to block shots. I love the tenor and tone he sets for his team. Rubio set to bring it up. Wiggins against Gallinari. Goes out of bounds. Minnesota ball. Rubio against Nelson. Rubio fires with two on the 24. Nice touch at the basket. He's averaging 10 points per game this season. Boy. Three-pointer. Won't go. Martin against Foy. It's been a rough couple of years for the T-Wolves, Jeff, but they've got some fine young talent, including Andrew Wiggins, who at times last year showed why he deserved Rookie of the Year. Absolutely. In the trade for Kevin Love, they nabbed Andrew Wiggins, and he had a spectacular first year for the Timberwolves. Uh, his strength uh, and athleticism in transition was a sight to behold, and they are going to be building around Wiggins and Carl Anthony Towns. And the paint flips that one in. Sometimes the simplest plays are the hardest ones to execute. Good layup. Nelson bringing it up. To the basket, puts it in. That's just a nice layup right there. Rubio walks it across. There's the perfect pick. Ball comes loose. Garnett against Faree inside. And that'll do it for the first quarter. The Timberwolves up by five. We'll be
interesting first quarter. Shots falling for both teams. Defense certainly needs to pick it up. You say interesting, I say disgusting. That defense won't get it done in the NBA. You want to win, you guard people. Foy for two. Can't get it to go. Tremendous job making it difficult to get to the basket. Jeff, this Kip Wiggins won Rookie of the Year last year. What's the next step for him? I think it's to become a perennial all-star, Mike. Can he be the best player on a playoff team in the Western Conference? And the answer is, talent-wise, yes. I think the sky is the limit for Andrew Wiggins because he is a special, special talent. as the shot clock expires. Nelson's two-pointer won't go. And that's a tough shot right there. Solid team defense forcing the miss. Rubio against Nelson. Anthony Towns fires off the mark. The NBA game is a long game. You may be down now, but if you string together three or four good possessions at both ends of the floor, you can be right back in it. Goes to the reverse. Shot is blocked. Minnesota's leading Denver by a score of 15 to nine. Nice soft touch. Look, you can't give up layups like that. You gotta protect the basket and the paint at all costs. Nelson against Rubio. Nelson fires with one left on the clock. And Jameer Nelson with the nice look sinks it. That's pure talent right there to be able to make something out of nothing. Good defense, better offense. Anthony Towns looking to set up in the paint. Rubio jump shot. Can't get it to fall. Foy against Martin. For two, gets that one to drop. Two points. The assist from number four, Randy Ford. It'll count if it goes. And time expires here to end the first half. Minnesota's up by four. We'll have more. Welcome back to the Target Center for the second half, which is just about underway. Along with Jeff Van Gundy, Mike Breen on hand. Minnesota's up by a narrow margin as we start the third quarter, Jeff. They just got to keep doing what they did in the first half. Why did you steal my line, Mike? That's what I just told you off air. I just said that. That's exactly what they've got to continue to do. Do what they're doing, continue to work the game, and they will be rewarded. Jeez. Wiggins for two, lets it go, off target. Goes to the goal, chance for a three-point play. Count the basket, and the foul, a block called against Martin. And Randy Foy will go to the line for the first time tonight, looking to complete the three-point play. That's the concentration you need to finish with contact and earn your way to the free-throw line. And they get the 20-second timeout. He's certainly not the player he used to be, but having Kevin Garnett in the locker room, on the practice floor with all this young talent, that's going to be a big bonus for Minnesota, Jeff. Kevin Garnett has often and always been lauded by his coaches. As, oh, what a play! A look at the athleticism exploding up to finish with the hammer. In the third Denver's leading Minnesota by a score of 20 to 17. 
Rubio against Nelson, wide open. And Kevin Garnett with the bucket. I love when teams share the ball. You learned everything you needed to know in this world in kindergarten, and the number one thing that Mrs. French taught me was share. And I'll tell you what, they are sharing the basketball here today in this game. Rubio coming across. Wiggins jumper. The Timberwolves with the offensive rebound, and he puts it down! Oh, that's nice right there. The finish at the rim with a nice dunk. Nelson against Rubio. One minute remaining in the third quarter. That pass picked off by Anthony Towns. Gets inside, it's good. One. He got there late. The foul called against Fareed. And he'll get to shoot a free throw tonight for the first time in the game as he tries to complete the three-point play. Absorbs the contact, finishes the shot, and now works his way to the free throw line. Here's the pick. To the basket, flips it up. The Nuggets with control on the rebound. Minnesota's leading Denver by a score of 24 to 22. Screen set nicely. To the rim. Can't lay it home. Driving the ball into the paint is the most important offensive tool in the game. He had a great look. He just missed it. Gallinari against Wiggins. At the buzzer. Three quarters complete. The Timberwolves up by two. Fourth quarter set to begin. A tie game. Is either team going to cool off offensively? Give me a good offensive team over a good defensive team any day of the week. Great offense beats great defense any time. For the layup. Knocks it down. Gorgeous feed. Minnesota's leading Denver by a score of 26 to 24. Nelson against Rubio. Looking to dominate down low at the rim. Knocks it down. Tie game. The assist from number eight, Danilo Gallinari. Rubio against Nelson. Gets inside. Weaves his way to the basket. Oh, nice touch from Ricky Rubio. No wasted activity right there. Took it straight to the rim and finished the lane. Wow, he's open. Foy shot. Won't go. To close out a game in the second half, you've got to execute create open shots, but most importantly, you've got to knock those shots down. Wiggins against Gallinari. Looking to curl in. Strong to the goal. Gets it to go. Nice play from Andrew Wiggins. That's nice body control right there on that layup. Good finish. Minnesota's leading Denver by a score of 30 to 26. On the drive. It's good. Two point game. Rubio against Nelson. Inside, knocks it down, four-point game. 
They need to talk it over quick. A 20-second timeout. Jeff, there's some decisions to be made right now. When you're using your 20-second timeout, it can be done for different reasons. Here, I think what they're using it for is a quick play to break this run. He puts it in. Slut shot. Hey, you can only control what you can control. The defense there was great. It was just a better shot. Inside to the basket. Oh, what a move from Andrew Wiggins. As we wind down the fourth, there's a timeout. The strategy is simple right now. You come out of the timeout, you execute, you get a score. And then you have to trust your defense. No unnecessary fouls. Just get another stop. And then go out in transition. Get out on the break. Fires away. Oh, huge offensive rebound. Oh, what a shot. You're not going to see a better possession in the NBA from both sides of the ball. Good defense, good offense. Good offense won out that time. They double him, so they get the clock to stop with the foul. Up two with about a half a minute left in the game. It's absolutely critical you make both of these free throws and make it a two-possession game. Two for two at the line, a little breathing room, now a four-point advantage. They want to discuss things. Time for a full timeout. Jeff, what's the coach's thought process right now? Sometimes early in the game, you use a quick full timeout to calm your team down. Sometimes the intensity is ratcheted up too hot, and you just have to take a timeout to calm your team down and get it into more of a zen-like state where their focus could be. Oh, big three from Jameer Nelson. The clock runs out, and this game is over. The final score is 13.